Top 10 things to see in California. Malibu, also known as the Boo. Malibu is a 21 mile surf town. You know what I'm saying? It's chilled out. The vibes are good and relaxed. Chilled out. Night is cold, but your heart's colder. And it's only an hour away from LA. So if you're looking to get away from the city, hit the boo for some surfing, you know what I'm saying? Death Valley. Death Valley is a desert located in Eastern California and is the lowest, driest, and hottest place in all of North America. What we really liked about Death Valley was the varying terrain, going from deserts at one point into mountains, and the different ecosystems that it had to provide as well. Besides the desert and the mountains, there were salt flats and sand dunes. San Francisco, one of the towns with the most culture in California, probably the home of all the hippie movement in the 60s and 70s, still a lot of that reminiscent. Also a very beautiful town, it's got it's built on a lot of hills, so the architecture is very unique to San Francisco itself. Also, you got the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, which you probably have seen before. Worth checking out, beautiful views. If you had a day to spend there, to take the trolleys around town, visit the piers, have some drinks, and just explore the town and take the culture in. Monterey, California. Coastal town, located about in the middle of the state, right on the water. Probably one of the most beautiful, serene, long stretches of beach I've ever seen. You can literally walk down this beach for hours. Great surf if you're into that, though when we went, nobody was surfing. I think it was a little too cold. Really good seafood. We found ourselves broken down there, and it was actually a really big blessing in disguise. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten to explore Monterey. So if you want just your picturesque, like beautiful beach town, this is it. Up in Northern California, located on the Sacramento River, Redding is a nature boy's hotspot. If you're into exploring the wilderness, you'll find trails, mountains, waterfalls, hot springs. You'll definitely be busy anytime. San Diego. San Diego is a major city in the southern coast of California. It pretty much borders with Mexico. The city is full of fun, happy spirited people <laughs> and there happens to be a very bustling beer culture there which we were happy to learn more about. Joshua Tree Joshua Tree is a desert consisting of two different desert ecosystems, the Colorado and Mojave Deserts. Characterized by its amazing rock formation, it is an excellent place to enjoy hiking, camping, checking out its wildlife, and all the other plant life that it has to offer. Mount Shasta. <laughs> One of the biggest, most active volcanoes on the entire west coast, currently located in Northern California. Right after you enter California from Oregon, Mount Shasta is pretty much the first thing you see. Mount Shasta is well known by the spiritual community as a hot spot, spiritual hot spot. Draws a certain kind of people, a lot of hippies, a lot of yoga, a lot of that kind of thing. Now the locals believe that there's an ancient civilization living within the actual mountain. We have not been able to uncover them when we went, but it's also really good for hiking and exploring and it's a giant mountain with tons of wildlife, so it's great for any time of the year. Venice Beach. Venice Beach is one of the most famous beaches in the world. It's got a very incredible culture and community that surrounds it. These people are very active and there's lots to do. If you want to go spend a day, you can walk the boardwalk, you can people watch. The community there is nothing shy of eclectic. Park yourself on a bench near the boardwalk and enjoy what you see. Big Sur. 
Big Sur is a 90 mile coastal drive in central California. In essence, it's a big, long, windy road along the coast that gives you incomparable views of the ocean and cliffs below. It's not the fastest route between North and South California, but it's definitely got a lot more beauty than driving the I-5. Be mindful. The windy roads make it a little bit more dangerous for larger, longer vehicles, like an RV, and the cliffs are sometimes prone to mini rock slides. Holy crap! Dude, it's everywhere! If you're anything like us and enjoy the beauty of nature and the ocean, set some time aside and travel along Big Sur. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting or entertaining or informative, please subscribe to our channel, like it, share with your friends, and please comment and tell us what we missed or what, or what you think we should add to the list. Also check out our other top 10 videos around the states and the world. Bye. to me honestly I'm here I'm here <laughs> Give me one second let me just read this right off the thingy <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mind Ha! <laughs>